let's start recording. Well, once again, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We, amen. We greet you in the mighty matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen, from a whom of which we know all our blessings flow. Amen. We thank you. Hey, yeah. hey, how are you? God bless you, Sister Spark. Uh, Sister Pookie, God bless you all. Amen. We are thankful unto God, the God of our salvation. Amen. Because God is great and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. Uh, there has been none like him. There's none like him now, and there will be none like him ever to come. Amen. He's the only one true and wise God. But to him will truly be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. We love the Lord. Why? Because he first loved us. Amen. And uh, we're just thankful. Amen. Unto him on tonight. Amen. For just letting us yet be in the land of the living. Amen. And just being one in the number. Amen. And we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his protection, provision. Amen. And how he has kept us to this very point in present time. And now before we go any further, amen, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer on tonight. Amen. And uh, uh, we're going to we're going to lead in the word of prayer tonight. We thank you, most gracious Heavenly Father, once again, for this is the day that you have made. We're rejoicing. We're glad in it. Amen. And we're thankful unto you, the God of our salvation. Amen. That has yet kept us, that has sustained us, even in times like these. And we thank you, God, because why we know that we need a savior and we know that you're still yet with us. Amen. And you have not left us or forsaken us. And now as we beseech your throne of grace, we pray, God, that you bless us on tonight in the midst of this Bible study and discussion. Amen. Have thine own way. Amen. Enlighten our knowledge, wisdom and understanding the more of your word that we could rightly politically divide your word of truth and not just be readers, hearers, but most importantly, let us be doers of your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Every heart shout, amen. All right. At this time, we're going to actually do a screen share. And we was asked to talk on the subject on tonight to deal with angels. It's a very, uh, I was just doing some, little, some studying on this afternoon. It's a very broad uh, subject. But we're going to touch on it on tonight and uh, talk about some angels in which the Bible uh, we speak about. Uh, and, our, and we're going to talk and discuss and answer questions also too as well on tonight. All right, so I'm going to bring up my screen share. One moment, everybody. All right, one moment. All right. All right. Our subject on tonight is going to be angels, messengers, and warriors of God. This will be our Bible study on tonight. Amen. We're going to talk and discuss, amen, about angels on tonight. Amen. All right. Uh, let's jump right in. All right. Now, first of all, I, you know, when I uh, started just uh, delving in, uh, into the subject matter, even myself, um, I got a question on the screen. You can see that. Do you, in fact, have any stories? I have quite a few stories, uh, not only myself, but my mother, who's actually on, on our uh, here as well. We have, we have quite a few stories. Well, we've had, um, I know we've had, have had ent entertained or interacted with angels in some form or fashion. Uh, so we do have quite stories. We can talk and share. We'll discuss that at, uh, maybe later, possibly. All right. Uh, so just think about that. Now, it seems as though angels have actually, in fact, have captured the imaginations of people everywhere. Unfortunately, everyone, there has been a lot of misinformation about angels, along with superstitions, as well as unscriptural understandings. All right. Now, what people believe. Now, there was actually a news article back in the uh, late and early 90s, rather, uh, Time Magazine kind of did like some, um, they did, uh, what do you call it, some uh, research and took polls in regards to how people in, uh, uh, believe in regards to angels. All right. Question, do you in fact believe that angels exist? Uh, people were asked this. Most people said yes. 69%, 25% said no. What do people believe? Do you in fact believe, uh, leave you? have you had your own guardian angel? Uh, most, a lot of people said yes, 46% uh, said yes, 
21% said no. Um, what best describes what you believe angels to be? Uh, a lot of people responded to this effect. Higher spiritual beings created by God with special powers to access his angels on earth. 55% believe that. 15% uh, believe the spirit of people who have died, believe it or not. All right, what people believe? Uh-huh. An important religious ideal, but merely symbolic. 18% actually believe that. Figments of the imagination. 7% of people believe that. All right. Uh, have you ever uh, personally felt an angelic presence in your life? Actually, 32% said yes to that. 35% said no to that. Do you believe that in the angels or fallen angels or devils or demons? 49% said yes. 45% said no. But did you notice how the results, in fact, actually begin to merge when they ask that question? Now, where is the only place that we can learn about angels? Where is it? Mm -hmm. Here's the answer. All right. It's in the word of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible. All right. Now, in all ages where we have found it, many have become uh, Christians who did not know that they were, in fact, angels. But when a man has become a Christian and, in fact, reads the Bible for his or herself, they'll find in it from Genesis, the word angel, uh huh, and uh, is used, in fact, 11 times, all right? Uh, to re and to revelations and to revelations 51 times actually in the book of revelations and in a total of 192 times in the bible all right now by grace what do we believe we believe in fact as we are saints of god um, people in the body of christ amen we believe in in christ christ jesus we believe by the means of the gospel we believe in the Bible as well. We believe in also to the content of the Bible. Therefore, guess what? If we believe the content of the Bible, we believe also in angels. Mm -hmm. Now, we believe in them. Why? Because God does what? He teaches us through his word that they, in fact, exist and they are around us all the time. Now, the existence of angels and their, and their uh, one moment, we got more people coming in the room, uh, and the time of their creation. The Bible from Genesis to Revelations, in fact, everyone, it bears witness that there are angels. Therefore, on the testimony of scripture, not on the reason of probability, guess what? We believe in angels, all right? Because I say that again, because of the testimony of scriptures, what the scriptures in fact tell us and, 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 and reveal to us specifically, believe in angels, uh-huh, all right. Angels were created within the six days of creation. Again, I say that within the six days of creation. Look at what Genesis chapter uh, two, verse one say, I'm gonna read it. All right, Genesis chapter two, verse number one, all right. It says what? It says, thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. All right. All right. The angels were created within the six days of creation. They were not created before the universe. Why? Because before the creation, uh, there was only God. And that's revealed in scripture in Genesis chapter one, verse number one. Look what the word of God says. Look what it says in Genesis chapter one, verse one. What does it say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth before he created anything else, all right? So they weren't created then. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and there was only God, all right, in the beginning, all right? Now, John chapter 1, verses 1 through uh, 3 says what? In the beginning was the word, and what was the word? The word was God, and what, and what was also the word? The word, uh, the word was with God, excuse me, and the word was God. The same also was in the beginning with God. God was from the beginning. There was no one else, nothing else, no one, nothing of creation uh, prior. All right, all things then would happen. The scripture tells us all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was in fact made. 
all right? Nothing came prior to God, all right? God was, was he was, he was before there was. <laughs> Glory to God, amen, amen. Colossians chapter one, verses 15 to 16, talks about who is, in fact, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, for what? By him, where what? All things, excuse my typo, it's, but it's created, that are in heaven and that are in the earth, all right? Things in the heaven and things on earth, whether they were visible or invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers of authorities, what? All things were created by him and for him. Mm -hmm. Colossians 1, verses uh, 16. What is, what is it letting us know there? All right. The, the three orders of creation are what? Number one, all body, all soul. And number three, body and soul. That's the order of creation. All right. Angels chapter, you could, if you're taking notes, you can write this down. I'm kind of, cause I'm going to kind of move fast. I got a lot of uh, scriptures and I want to touch on some other things. I'm actually going to probably, we may even possibly do a part two to this, but angels are talked about in Genesis chapter 16, verse 17. Also in Luke chapter one, verse 11. All right. The name angel, in fact, itself, it's an official title. It does not, in fact, describes the angel's makeup. Now, the essence is what is, is, is pneuma, all right, or spirit. The official title describes their work as what? As ambassadors and messengers. And actually, as I was studying, even on this subject matter on tonight, uh, we find that, uh, and we're going to talk about him, uh, there were two angels that were mentioned in the Old Testament, all right, uh, uh, Michael, as well as Gabriel. All right. One was, a, in fact, a, a, like a messenger and one was a great warrior. One, uh, you could say we could call him the protector. All right. And that was Michael, the archangel. All right. We're going to talk about that. We're going to go to scripture in regards to that, too. Malachi chapter two, verses seven. Also, Malachi three, one talks about what? Uh, for the lips of the priest ought to preserve knowledge of him. For his mouth shall he seek instruction. Why? Because he is the messenger of the Lord Almighty. Mm hmm. The word of an angel means what? Matthew chapter 11, verse 10. This is one thing about whom it is written. I will send my what? My messenger ahead of you who will do what? Who will prepare your way before you. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 10, 11, verse 10. This is the one thing about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare you by the way before you. John 3, 17 and verse, also verse 34 in the same chapter. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but what did he do? All right, he sent him to the world that the world may be saved through him. All right, verse 34, for the one whom God has sent speaks the word of God, for God gives the spirit without limit. Glory to God. And John chapter six, verse 40. For my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believes in him shall what? Shall have eternal life. And I will raise him up in that last day. Galatians 4, 4 through 6. Have you suffered such well if nothing? Is it worth, is it really was for nothing? Does God give you his spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you heard? Genesis chapter 2. Talking about the angels of the Lord uh, uh, in, in verses 11 through 12 and also Genesis 48. 15 through 16. Uh, I hope you're taking notes. All right. All right. But what does 22, 11 through 12 say? But the angel of the Lord called on out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. And what Abraham, he, he said, he said, here I am. He replied. And what did the angel tell Abraham to do in verse 12? He said, don't lay your hand on the boy. All right, he's talking about Isaac, his son. He said, what? Do not do anything. Now I know that you fear God. Why? Because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. All right, the angel was speaking and dealing with Abraham. All right, and, 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 and even though it looked like even, y'all know the story of Abraham and Isaac and when he was sacrificing himself. And remember when Isaac was going up to the mountain with, 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 uh, uh, with Abraham, I, 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 Isaac asked even Abraham, he said, uh, Father, where's the sacrifice? Abraham told him, God will provide. Isaac didn't even know that he realized that he was going to be the sacrifice. But Abraham obeyed and the angel interceded and stopped. Why? Because it was, it was actually a form of testing. But Ab Abraham passed the test because he was willing to do what God told him to do. No matter what it may have even looked like. Or despite of how it may uh, 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 
may have impacted his life to lose his son, the promise, amen. Genesis chapter 48, 15 to 16, it talks about what? Then he blessed Joseph and said what? May God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walk, the God who has been by a shepherd all of my, my life to this day. Verse 16, the angel who delivered me from all harm, may he bless these boys. May they be called by my name in the name of my fathers and Abraham, Abraham and Isaac that they may, that that and made that they increase greatly upon the earth. Glory to God, angel of the Lord. Amen. To worship or not, amen. It would be manifest idolatry, in fact, to pray to an angel and invite his blessing. A created angel would never swear by himself. That's clarified in Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. All right. Now, I know we have, uh, there are some, you know, uh, religions, I'm not going to call them out. But they do uh, practice, you know, in fact, praying to angels and praying to uh, uh, different people. Amen. But we, we're, but, but he, God said in his word that he would have no other God before him. Amen. So we shouldn't be uh, doing that. All right. Um, and Genesis chapter 22, 15 through uh, 18, real quick, I'm going to read here. The angel of the Lord called upon Abraham for heaven a second time and did what, and said what? I swear by myself, declare to the Lord that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, mm, to worship or not. Listen, an easy way to test whether the word refers to God or created angel is in the context whether either the name Jehovah, divine works or divine. Listen, to worship or not. Worship is an attributed scripture, attributed, excuse me, to scripture to an angel. And then this angel must be understood to be the son of God who referred to as the angel of the Lord. All right. Uh, nature of angels and i'm going to actually stop here because i got a i got a long presentation but i want to actually stop my screen share and i just want to share we're going to go to scripture and i want to share some other uh thoughts uh with you as well amen one moment all right if you're taking notes uh please, please feel to write this down all right uh All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, go, there we go. All right. One moment, everybody. All right. Uh, one moment. Now, also, too, actually, if you look at scripture in Acts chapter, you could write this down. In Acts chapter 17, Michael is uh, 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 spoken of. All right. And he talks about his, he's talking, talking, he's talking back in, in regards to history in Acts chapter 7, verse 38. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there in my uh, Bible here. Acts chapter 7. Verse number 38. Listen, look at what Acts chapter 7 and verse number 38 talks about. All right. Acts chapter 7. Matter of fact, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up to um, here. Acts chapter 7, verse 35. Listen to this. Then Mo, this Moses, whom they refused, said what? Who made the three ruler, uh, oh, excuse me, who made thee a ruler and a judge? The same that God sent to be a ruler and deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in a bush all right he's talking about moses all right and the angel that appeared to him in a bush look at look at he said here verse 36 he brought them out and after that he showed wonders and signs in the land of egypt and in the red sea and in the wilderness for 40 years verse 37 this is that moses which said unto the children of israel a prophet shall see shall the lord your God raise up unto you and of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear. Verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel, with the angel, mm, which spake to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles of God unto us. Glory to God. 
So we find it also too in the scripture, uh, uh, in, in Daniel, I believe chapter nine, I'm gonna grab the uh, actual scriptures. It talks about even uh, 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 Gabriel, I believe as well as Michael, all right, in the book of Daniel, amen, even as well, amen. Uh, and Michael was one of what was known as the arch, archangels, all right, and he's actually repeatedly we find in scripture, he was this, uh, he's basically depicted as a great captain, and he was a leader, in fact, of heavenly hosts, and the warrior uh, uh, helping uh, the children of Israel. And we find also, too, in scripture, early in the history of the Christian church, he came to be regarded as the help of the church's armies against what? Against the heathens and against the tax also of the devil. He also uh, holds the secret also, too, of the mighty work of the utterance of which God created the heavens and earth. And it said with the, and, and, and we read it in Acts chapter uh, 7, verse 30, and when the angel who spoke at Mount Sinai, and we find in scripture, we have numerous representations of Michael. Uh, also, too, uh, even now uh, uh, around the world in various arts uh, in which the reflects his character uh, as a warrior. He's also shown as uh, uh, being not only being a warrior with a sword, a combat, and with triumph, uh, even over uh, 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 the dragon and even in the story uh in the word of god is, is, is even talked about in the book of revelations glory to god all right uh i want to find that scripture um, one moment i'm going to actually go i want to go to daniel let's go to daniel um, i'm going to go to daniel and i believe we're going to go to chapter nine um Daniel chapter nine. Um, that's right. Yeah, nine to ten, and I believe chapter ten. Help me out there, overseer. <laughs> 12, 12 and 13. 10, 12 and thirteen, right? Uh, hold on a second. We're going there. We're going there. I'm the president. I'm. I'm nipping, I'm nipping, I'm nipping, I'm like God. You know? That's right. People want to worship them, but they don't have only power that God gives them. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Subject to God's command. Right. Uh, that was asked. What was that? Uh, one moment. We got more people coming in. Room. 10, 12, 13. I don't know if that's what you mean. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't bring my glasses down uh, to the office, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just bear with me. All right, you can read that, read that, read that for me. Read that for me. Go ahead, read that for me. Actually, uh, I'm not in my Bible. I was just taking notes. Okay. I'm not in my Bible. All right, that Daniel chapter nine. Daniel chapter nine. Um, give me a moment, if you want. One moment. Uh, Oh, Daniel chapter 10. 10, 12 through 13. 10, 12 through 13, right. Let's go. We're going to go to everybody. Daniel chapter 10, 12 through 13. One moment. Thank y'all. All right. Then he said unto me, fear not, Daniel, from what? The first day did thou set thy heart to understand and chasten thyself before God. Thy word was heard, and I'm come to thy word. All right. Uh, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia uh, da, 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 uh, withstood me one day and 20 days below, my, below Michael. One of the chief prin uh, princes came to help me, and I remained there and was a king of Persia. All right. Uh, is that the one? I don't think that's the. Uh, one moment. What, what, well, that was when he was talking about how they fasted. And while I was still praying, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the vision, 
came to me in a swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice, Daniel 9, 21. Nine, right. So another that, angel. Nine, right. That was chapter 9. Absolutely. That's what I was looking for. Fasting. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. 921. 921. That's the one I was looking for. Right. Yet while I was speaking in prayer, even a man Gabriel, whom I'd seen in the vision at the beginning because of the flight swiftly, touched me about the time of evening. Uh uh, even no oblation. And look at verse 22. And he informed me and talked to me and said, oh, Daniel, and now come set forth to give thee skill and understanding. And remember what I talked about earlier. Uh, that's what the angels are. Uh, they're messengers. All right. Oftentimes God sends them as messengers to give like us. A, a, like a soldier. Like a they soldier. Have a, they have a duty. Right. And that they have, right, they have a specific duty. They have a specific task. Amen. 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 And at the beginning of that supplication, I'm at verse 23, and the commandments came forth, I am come to do what? To show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. The angel speaking to Daniel right there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, because Psalms calls them chariots. Psalm 6, 8, 17 says the chariots of God are tens of thousands. And thousands of thousands. They like a chariot. They like they like uh like 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 we have horses. They they're sent out. They sent. They they at their angels are sent out even now sent out into the world to be dispatched to do the will of the Father. Amen. Amen. Uh, what is uh, uh yeah 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 glory to God. Amen. Yeah, that, Amen. Amen. So we just wanted to talk about that. I want to open up the floor. We're going to talk and discuss and go to some more scriptures in regards to this is a very, uh, there's so many scriptures we could talk about in regards to the angels, but we just did want to touch on that on tonight about the angels. And I believe we helped uh, share with you, amen, their purposes, amen, the purpose of the angels, amen. We're not to worship them, amen, amen, but they, they're actually, they're, God has uh, uh, dispatched them. Uh, on the earth to provide us with instruction, amen, amen, and guidance, even as well. Uh, at the outset, when I started, or even on tonight, uh, there was, uh, and I've shared this with uh, some people that have been on here with us too before, uh, and y'all can see, share, I want some of y'all to share your experiences too. Uh, my children's mother, who's passed away, God bless her, uh, Diane, uh, actually when we had our first child, uh, Natalie, uh, my daughter, um, this goes back and wow, this had to be early nineties. And I'm, I was living in Newark on court street. And I remember this one particular night. I just want to share with you this on tonight. Amen. Uh, we had church service. I believe it might've been a Friday. I knew it was a weeknight service. It was an evening service. I had already, uh, went to service early and, uh, she was actually gonna, my wife was gonna, at the time was gonna follow me along with my daughter um to service but somehow i don't know what happened what transpired my daughter somehow fell in the house and dislocated her shoulder amen and she dislocated her shoulder and uh i'm at church service already started i hear my wife is crying in the background a little somewhat distraught and my daughter screaming and hollering in the background in pain and she told me uh james and i think natalie uh did my mother dislocated or broke her shoulder? She wasn't sure. I said, oh my God. I said, all right, uh, just let me know what you're going to do. Uh, we got a ticket to the hospital. We got a ticket to the hospital. All right. And she says, wait, I'm going to call you right back. All right. So she actually was going to uh, head it downstairs to take her to, the, take her to the, give her a ticket to the hospital. And don't you know, our next door neighbor was walking up the stairs. And the next door neighbor uh uh, had a nurse's uniform on, you know, I, I don't remember her name to this day. I can't remember her name, but she was our neighbor. And um, I know she was married, had a husband. It was just her and her husband across the hall from us. And we were on the third floor and Diane was walking down the stairs. The neighbor's walking up the stairs in a nurse uniform. She said, and screaming and hollering. And she said, the nurse, uh, the neighbor asked, what's wrong? She said, my daughter, I uh, think she might've dislocated or broke her shoulder. She said, well, come on inside. Uh, let's go inside your house. And so she actually walked back in uh, to my house uh, with Natalie and Diane. 
laid her on our carpet. And she, uh, uh, Diane said she laid on the carpet and she just put her hands on her shoulder and just did like a light tap like that. And all of a sudden, uh, Natalie just stopped crying and pain and whatnot. It was like whatever she, whatever happened to her shoulder, was it was gone, repaired, whatever. And Natalie, uh, Diane thanked her. Uh, my neighbor left out the door. Well, she wound up coming on the church. <laughs> we praise God, you know, for the healing and everything, and thank, you know, thanking God for the neighbor. A couple of days later, uh, we ran into the, our neighbor across the hall, and uh, and my wife said, "Just want to just thank you." Uh, I forgot her name. I can't think of her name, but she said, "I just want to thank you for uh, helping me out, my daughter." Uh, a couple of days ago. That was really a blessing for us. The neighbor looked at us and said, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What am I telling you? It wasn't what what my wife saw and what Natalie saw, my, my daughter, was it came in the image of our neighbor, but it wasn't the neighbor. Um, I believe that was an angel from the Lord. Uh, there's so many other instances I could share with you where God has actually, I remember uh, overseer, uh, sure, she's on here with us on, even on tonight. I must have been about nine, 10 years old. I'll never forget it. We were in food town. And I remember, I don't know what specifically uh, my mother was going through at that time, but I know she was dealing with some things. And even as a young child, I saw my mother dealing with anguish and different things in her life. Uh, but I mean, I'm a young child, you know, what, how much could I do, you know, but even as a young child, guess what? I had a relationship with God and, uh, and how we were in food town, which actually at that time existed. If you, if those of you are familiar with Newark on Springfield corner of Springfield Avenue and Morris Avenue, there used to be a food town there. It's now senior citizen home there. Now uh, that's long since gone, but I remember we were checking out at this food town. And uh, she probably don't even remember this, but I remember this so clearly. And uh, we were checking out, bagging our bags, giving me a walk out. And this man walked over uh, to us and told me, and I remember he told my mother something to the effect of, I don't remember his words verbatim, but I knew it was something, it was a word of encouragement to her. You know, whatever you're going through, God's, God's going to see you through and God's taking care of you, you know, and, and whatnot. And uh, I don't remember what specifically my mother said, but I know that we just turned our heads for a split second and that man was gone. There was, I mean, I'm talking gone, <laughs> but it was, he was in human form, you know, something of which, uh, someone of which that we can recognize this person, uh, but in a split moment, this man that was there was no longer there. Amen. Uh, but we thank God. Amen. Thank God for him uh, allowing us to encounter and experience. Amen. Uh, the presence and blessings. Amen. Amen. And, and being blessed by, by encouraging words and guidance. Amen. Through angels. Amen. Amen. The word of God even talks about that you may even uh, uh, entertain even strangers unaware. Amen. But we just thank God. Amen. Amen. The angels are real. Amen. And their messages and their warriors from God. Amen. Amen. Uh, Overseer Shaw, come on. I know you had some more you wanted to add to share. Come on. You did it. I ain't going to go mess with it. <laughs> it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson. I, you know, like you said, you was uh, all in there. But, you know, they just had those different names, you know, the archangel. And, and Lucifer was a fallen angel. Fallen angel. Yeah. And you know what? Hold on, stop right there. Talk of, talk about fallen angel. What is a fallen angel? Just stop right there. Let's talk about that for a moment. I'm trying to put me on the spot. <laughs> well, he's one who, who disobeyed God. Once you disobey God and don't follow his instructions, mm -hmm. you know, you're falling. You're not, and even, even uh, they was, what was it? One third of heaven was cast down. They were fallen angels, right? That's right. That's they, right. They, they, they followed that wrong one and they were cast out of heaven. 
That's well, right. They not, they not even out in the heavenly realm anymore. They down walking to and fro in the earth. Got That's the right. devil in them, like man has the devil in him. God bless you, Brother Larry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We got one of your brother Larry on with you tonight. Oh, we can't hear you. Uh, take your take your audio off of mute. Uh, I don't know if you're on mute or not. You may have it half over. I don't know. Let me see this. No. Uh, say something, brother Larry. Oh yeah, your audio's connecting. We see it. Yeah, we see it. We see it. God bless you. Or Satan is his other name, Satan. <laughs> mm hmm The word says, "Walking to and fro, seeking whom he may devour." That's right. That's right. What he doing? Amen. That's right. He was up in heaven. He was an angel. So that's why I don't know why people think I'm just going to heaven anyhow. I don't care how I live. But even the, even the angels that he created, they did, they messed up. He kicked them out. That's right. So I don't think, I always say it like this. He's not going to take the devil back up to heaven where he done kicked him out already. So if you got him in you or, or not following the devil, you can't go there. And not go there. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. All right, uh, Minister Larry, you had your hand raised. God bless you. Good to have you with us on tonight. Uh, can you hear me now? We hear you now. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you, you wanted to say something? I saw you had your hand raised. No, no. I, I'm, I was sitting here trying to figure out how to work this thing. All right. You in. You in. <laughs> And I was talking, but I couldn't hear anything. Y'all couldn't hear me, I guess. Right. You're loud and clear now. We it's, your first, it's, your, it's your first Zoom experience? Uh, pretty much. All right. Praise God. Glad to have you on tonight. Anybody have anything they'd like to share? Have a question? Amen. We're so glad to have everybody on here on tonight. Amen. Awesome. A amen. Uh, a very, a very uh, interesting topic. Uh, Anybody else? Oh, my experience is um, come on. When I in primary election, I guess the Lord let me know what day it was. During the primary election, I was walking down the street, uh -huh. didn't feel my foot hit a rock or anything, and just started falling and sliding forward. Now, if you fall, you just fall. Boom, you're going down. But I just started after I fell, I was still sliding like something that pushed me. But I just thank God for His mercy and for His grace. I was able to get up and walk on home. I went in, I passed the place that was doing a food bank across uh, Clearview, and I just kept walking in. I said, no, I'm not going over there and start talking about, oh, I don't say I just fell and whatever. But I thank God for his prayer. And I, I've talked to a couple of other people, and they said they had somewhat of the same experience. Didn't trip overnight, didn't fall overnight, but one of them was a minister. I forgot who the other one was, but I remember one of my cousins, she's a minister. Same thing happened to me, you know. So there are spirits people don't know it walking to and fro on the earth. That's what we have to say, prayed up. Okay. Absolutely. Good spirits and bad spirits. Man, the Lord also is have, have you ever been walking across the street? It is like something just pushes you out of the way and you get across a car could hit you, you know? Amen. You might get held up in a, a car and trying to get somewhere. You get down the road, there's a big accident. Amen. Man. So I'm telling you, if you just look and think back, you can say, Lord, I, there's been a few experiences in my life that I know I could not explain. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're encountering angels that, um, like, like, you know, it's almost like uh, unaware, but they're watching over us, you know. Um, they're in our lives, you know. Um, and God's for me. Yeah, God, you know, yeah, at God's command, at God's command. And we're grateful unto that. Amen. The God of God. Well, I like the old folks song. They used to make sing songs like the angels watching over me by law oh. all day, all night. Angels watching over me. <laughs> you know, people don't sing songs like that to us. <laughs> uh, I remember that one. Uh, Overseer Shaw, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. Awesome. 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 Anybody else would like to share or talk or discuss on tonight? Or even if you have a question, amen. Feel free. Come on. You can unmute yourself, everybody. Don't be shy, everybody. 
Well, you know, we were talking about <laughs> mentioning there about Lucifer being a fallen angel. Right. right. Now, you know, he was um, kind of more or less God's right hand man. That's right. right? He, he was his musician. He was a musician. That's right. But he started having uh, jealousy and wanted to be more like God. Right. Which caused him to fall from that grace. Because uh -huh. even in um in Hebrews, you see they said, Well, he asked God a question. He said, Well, who is man? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that thou think of him and even that thou visited him. You know, so he became jealous because God esteemed us higher than the angels. Right. Right. And 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 yet you mentioned that we have we have an angel assigned to us. The way the devil looked at it, he said, hey, you know, look at men. They fall in sin, they puny, they, you know, because an angel uh, supposedly has the strength of about 6,000 men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, in the Psalms, they assigned, said they're spiritual beings. Psalm 104, they're spiritual beings, you know? Mm-hmm. Amen, man. And that's it. That we, when we um, we have angels assigned to us, and their job is to protect us, protect us, uh, and guide us, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. guide us and lead us. That's right. Hey. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and I, I, I we outlined a couple of scriptures on tonight, uh, even earlier. Remember, uh, in Daniel, how the angel had guided him. Um, Mm -hmm. There's so many scriptures. Uh, actually, uh, again, uh, I mentioned it in the presentation. There's over 192 scriptures in the Bible that talks about angels. Over 192 scriptures. Amen. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's really vast. Uh, the Bible just uh, is really vast in regards to sharing with us and, 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 and telling us. And and this and, and and describing to us, Amen. The uh, attributes and and the things which the angels are doing and to do and have done for uh, men and, and, and of old in the Word of God, and even for us now, Amen. No, Ella, show you know what? I don't know if any of y'all have been on the farm. Animals, you the animals have a different reaction to us because they can sometimes see those things that we cannot see. You know, I've seen the that. angels. Yeah. Like brother, brother Larry was saying, Isaiah 6, 1 through 8, somebody, I don't know if Ellis shall be going to read it. He said, we, we see a description of the serpent. They, these are tall angels, each with six wings, and they can fly, you know? So they, they, they have all kind of stuff that we don't have because they are created by God for a special purpose. They are messengers, they are watchers or supervisors for God, they are military hosts. They're sons of the mighty, they're sons of God and chariots. And that's why I think we was in the Old Testament, everybody was trying to wonder, did they start going with the people? Because they want to go into those men. Me and my neighbor was just talking about that. They didn't want to go into the women. They wanted to go into the men. So they showed you they had a, they had those spirits back in the day. They had the spirits that God had wanted them to have. They wanted to go into, they didn't want the women. They want to go into the men. You know, and these angels, they said, all oh, angels are men. So now, why would a man angel want to go into a man angel? Mm. <laughs> you know? Right. And you mentioned uh, Isaiah chapter 6. And y'all feel free to take notes if you want. Isaiah chapter 6, actually, verses 1 through uh, uh, 1 through 4. Eight. Isaiah, eight. Eight. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm sorry, through 1 through 8. You're right. Uh, that's a seraphim, and it describes seraphim is actually uh, probably the pop, one of the most powerful angels. That's talked they're about. tall, they tall. That's what he was saying. They're strong, they're tall. Oh, six feet tall, multiple wings. They had 20 mm -hmm. on their hands as well as their feet, according mm -hmm. to the scripture. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, that it's awesome, really awesome in regards to angels. Amen. Mm hmm. Yeah, and what he said there, uh, I love this here. Look at this here. In the year, I just want to read a, just a snippet of this. <laughs> In the, the king Isaiah died, I saw the Lord 
This is the prophet Isaiah talking here. He says what? He said, I saw the Lord sit upon Isaiah 6 and 1. He said, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne and highly lifted up and his train filled the temple. And above it, above the throne stood what? The seraphims. Each one of them had six wings. With twain, he covered his face. With twain, he covered his feet. With twain, he did fly. And one cried to another and said, what? Verse 3, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, whose whole earth is full of his glory. Good God Almighty. And at the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And what happened? The house was filled with smoke. Then I said, oh, I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips. I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the king and the Lord of hosts. So a lot of times when you hear in the word, the God mentioned hosts. It's talking about the angels. Angels, they're hosts. They're hosts. It means a lot of them. A lot of them. That military, like a military. And I read, read the host. There you go, uh, OC. And I mentioned that also in Genesis chapter uh, 2, verse 1. The first thing it starts off with, you know, after that sixth day of creation, uh, he did, he had, he had created, the, talked about the Lord uh, uh, of the heaven and the hosts. You know, I think Genesis chapter 2 1, right? Right here we find what? Then look at verse number six. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having what? Having uh, a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongue off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. And I also heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom I shall I send? And who shall go for us? Then he said, I, this is our prophet Isaiah talking. Here am I. Glory to God. Send me. Oh, I feel like that on today. Lord, we're here. Lord, just, <laughs> oh, God I'm from Zion. Glory to God. Here am I. Are you here, y'all? Do you want yeah, yeah. to send you? Glory Amen. to God. We're here, our Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank the Lord. Y'all, did you did you read the scripture in Job when Job talked about when the Lord told him about the um, angels? No, Job? I didn't read that scripture. Come on, give it to us. Go ahead. You got it in your got in your hand. I wrote it down. Let me see. All right, but this is awesome, y'all. I tell you, I love this on tonight. God bless you, brother Frank. We see you out there, <laughs> <laughs> and it's good to be here. Good to be here. <laughs> uh, Job thirty eight. See, you, brother Frank. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. I'm so glad. I, listen, I, listen. I'm I'm glad to see uh everybody on here. Amen. God bless you all. I want to start really calling names. I thank God for y'all. Fellowship. Job 38, 1 through 7. Job what? 1 through 7. What chapter? 38. Job 38, 1 through 7. Mmm. Good God from God. Woo! Listen. <clears throat> then the Lord answered Job and said out of the whirlwind and said, who is this that in dark counsel by word and without knowledge? Gird up thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Where was that? See, this is when Job and, and also those around, the critics who were around him thought they knew so much. God put them in his, put them in their place. This mm -hmm. is here. Look what he says. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou. You better answer me. Where, what was thou, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Verse 5. Who have laid the measures there that thou knowest? So who have stretched the line upon it? Where upon are the foundations thereof, Pastor? Or who laid the corner a stone there, where the morning stars are sang together, and all the sons of God shouting in the door. Or who shut up the seas or the doors? Or what it break forth as if it had issue out of the womb? Good God from Zion. God is just letting you know right there of his, uh, sons, of God. His, his sons of God, his excellent greatness, and truly how frail and really how minute we are. Amen. And, you know, hey, listen, we're the child of the Most High God. Amen. We are, in fact, children of the Lord of Peacehood. But guess what? You better still recognize and know your place. Amen. Amen. As a child of God, we can't get too high minded. 
We can't get a, a, a think more of ourselves than we ought to think. Amen. Amen. But uh, he declared even in his word that we should humble ourselves. Amen. Humble is the way. Amen. You know, see, he said for the, and I'm around, man, scripture lets us know, he said for even the humble, he will exalt. Amen. And I thank God for just, you know, uh, being humble. Amen. 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 I ain't trying to really necessarily toot my own horn, but amen. But God, praise God. I'm telling you, saints of God, family and friends, if y'all watching us all today, amen, be humble. That way when God, amen. and when he sends an angel in your midst, Amen. Not only you, 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 you'll, you'll feel his presence. Amen. You'll, you'll even see, sometimes we'll see the angel even in action. Glory to God. Amen. And I just, I ain't got no better sense but to lift my hands up and say that for God, to God be the glory. Amen. Yeah. Let the angel yeah. encounter me in my life. Amen. 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 Sending me warning before destruction. Amen. Amen. Instructing me. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Even provided protection, as, as, as Overseer even mentioned earlier. I can recall a many a times in my life, amen, when I've dealt, when, I, when, when God has told me to do a certain thing. And, you, and, and, and listen, if you don't, if you, when God speaks to you, hear me on today. You better listen. Yeah. How about a shootout, shootout on Bergen? What did you do in that car? They were shooting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you, that's another testimony. Y'all Google that. You'll find it online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know, they, I know they had me on the news and the videos and all that. But to God, yeah. the glory family and friends, listen. Jesus. Jesus. Back in, what was it, 2019, I believe it was. Amen. Uh, before all this craziness transpired. Amen. I, I, I. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember back in Newark, I think it was around September or so. Uh, it was a big shootout on Burger Street near the corner of Lyons Avenue. And uh, and what happened was I was actually, I just left a friend of mine's repair shop on Maple Avenue. And I was actually headed to my house, minding my own business, because I live not too far from the corner of Burger and Lyons. Head, minding my own business. Amen. And, and I, I'm sitting at a light and it was about two or three cars in front of me on Burger Street. And I'm at near the corner of Lyons Avenue. All of a sudden I hear uh, 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 this whoosh, like an engine rev behind me and just stop. And, uh, and next thing I know, I look in my rearview mirror. I saw some other cars come right behind him. Next thing I know, I'm still at the light, y'all. Light's still red. I'm behind three cars, uh, so cars at the light. These guys, uh, undercovers, that's what they look like, get, get, got out of the car with machine guns and guns and uh, rifles and pointed it to this truck that was directly behind me. Get out of the car with your hands up. And I said, oh, my God. And the, I'm looking at the guns, and the guy started revving his engine. Next thing I heard, y'all, the man put the, the guy by directly behind me, put his truck in reverse, smashed into the uh, undercover car that was behind him. I'm looking at this all in the back of my mirror. People, and I'm trying to I'm trying to move, couldn't move. People still sitting at the light. It looked like it just took forever. Then all of a sudden, they're screaming and hollering. He puts the car in drive and smashes right into my rear end, y'all. I'm driving a Toyota Sequoia truck, smashed right into my truck into the rear end. I said, oh, my God. And I just hung on to the steering wheel. The next thing I know, he, he, after he smashed into me, you know, basically knocking us all out the way, he revved the truck up, tried to go around the traffic, but oncoming traffic started coming in the other way. So he got up, ran, tried to run up on the sidewalk, smashed into, a, I believe, a telephone a tree. Smashed into a tree it was. And then at that point, all I heard was open fire, y'all. Bullets and everything going every which kind. And I'm, I'm still sitting there, y'all. Right across, about 15 feet away. Are y'all hearing me on today? 
And all I could say is, Jesus, and I got down low as I could in my truck, and I'm praying to God. I said, God, protect me, Jesus. And I had my windows cracked. And it was so much uh, fire, gunfire going on till that the smoke was coming through my van right through the windows. It was like a fog. And it was so, and I'm telling you, that it, 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 it looked like it went on for about a minute. I don't think it was that long, but it seemed like it was forever. And, 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 and all of a sudden, after all the gunfire, all of a sudden there was a complete silence. Oh, and, and, and in the midst of that, uh, and then being in the midst of gunfire going across my van, my, my, my truck, my God, not one bullet pierced my truck. Not mm. one bullet. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Everything was silent. Then all of a sudden, I, I, I peeped my head up because nobody was making a move. I don't know if everybody shot, got shot or whatever. I looked and saw the truck smashed up. Bullets all in the truck. like looked like it was grated cheese. It was all throughout this truck. And a man fell out the truck, blood everywhere, talking about I need help. And they said, don't move. Stay down on the ground. And I said, oh, my God, and cars still just sitting and everybody would look like I couldn't go nowhere. And, and, and I just sat there. And then the guys just started going towards the car. And the next thing I know, I saw an undercover guy come to me. He said, you all right? You all right? I said, I'm all right. Come on, I'm going to get you to safety. And he, and, I, and he opened up my passenger door and pulled me out and, and ran me around the corner. I'm telling y'all, saints and friends, family of God, God is real. God will protect you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thank God. Family is so good that you know the Savior. Glory to God. He'll protect you coming out. He'll protect you going in. Glory to God. He'll be with you, even to the ends of the world. Glory to God. Glory to God. When I just think about that, glory to God, it just brings memories back to my mind. Glory yes, to God. Yes, yes. That day could have been dead and gone. Bullets going right across my truck, but it did not come near my dwelling. Glory man, to God. Man. Praise the God. Man, the man just kicked in. God said, hold it, hold it, y'all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to, yeah, God. Glory to God. Yeah, Not you, God. like this. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. When it seems. Oh, Sean, tell him when, when you went back to the truck, what was the street? You said full of bullets, right? Covered oh, with bullets. Yes, yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. When, yeah. when everything, when the state actually even. By the way, one person, one of the guys that was in the truck was killed. Amen. But. When, 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 when everything cleared, it, hours went by, y'all. And I, they yeah. told me to just wait right here, just wait over in the corner. Amen. And, 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 and it was like, I, I just waited. Because they said they wanted to talk to me and whatnot. And, and they had like a set up one of those, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a, almost like the RV mobile unit where you go in there. It's like an office when you walk inside. And the detectives and everything were in there. And they said, we're going to walk you around the corner. We want you to just walk a straight line. Don't walk. Don't move uh, off the path. Just follow me directly. And, when, and they had this whole area curtained off. So people couldn't walk over there at all. The whole block just about between Weekwick Avenue and Lyons Avenue and Burger Street, curtained off. And when I walked around there, and walked in uh, towards this, uh, uh, what do you call it, this uh, mobile unit. It was so many bullets on the ground. I mean, it was like, I'm telling you, it was like an army had just dumped hundreds and hundreds of shell cations on the ground. And I'm not talking about no pow, pow, pow. I'm talking about a, a rifle, a rapid fire machine gun ammunition on the ground. My God, glory to God, and my truck was even still there. Glory to God, but not one bullet pierced my truck. Glory to God, hallelujah. I oh, give God praise, give God 
praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I got so many testimonies. Glory to God. When angels, amen, I know they were kept around me. And I know that you do too. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. You're watching me on today. You're listening on today. When it seemed like when you were down to your last, some way, somehow, God made a way out of no way. He provided for you. Glory to God. Doors that you thought were shut, God opened them for you. Glory to God. Who would not serve a God like this? Glory to God. Glory to God. I love that song, Waymaker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. Even yes. in the darkness, he is a light. Glory to God. Thank my, you, Lord. My dad is who you are. We give you praise on tonight. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name, God. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, family, friends, I know some of y'all muted out. That's okay. Right where you are. Come on and praise the Lord with me. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 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 Yes, thank, Lord. You, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Praise him out. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Wonderful. So good. So good. So good. He said it. You inhabit our praise. Glory to God. And I'm so glad that you inhabit my praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. I can't speak for your family. I can't speak for your friends. Glory to God. But what God is looking for, he's looking for us to be sincere. He wants us to be committed unto him. And he'll give you your heart's desire. Glory to God. But you got to be faithful unto God. Glory to God. He unto death, I'm going to be faithful. Glory to God. A lot of my family and friends are here, even though my testimony, I should have been dead and gone at 10 years old. Glory to God. I had this whole entire head cut almost completely severed down to the bone, except for two nerves and the bone. Glory to God. They operated on for me, I think, for about four hours. Glory to God. I had to had to install artificial nerves in my head. My wrist as a as a 10-year-old child said I, doctor said I'd be crippled for life. Glory to God. Glory to God, but everything the doctor said I would never ever be able to do in my life, God said that I could. Glory to God, and everything. And whose report will I believe? Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We give God praise on tonight. Glory Thank to you God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I, I know our, our Bible study to turn into a praise service. Glory to God. <laughs> we give glory to God. You got to read to praise God. Hallelujah. You gotta read. You're still yet in the land of living. Glory to God. Praise on the praise. Glory to God. Why are you the breath of life in your body? Glory to God. Give God praise. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? Thank you. I can't know what God for you. Glory to God. But God wants you to praise him for yourself. Glory to God with the fruit of your lips. Glory to God with the clapping of our hands, with the stamping of our feet, we give God praise. God praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, he well, Larry, you had something to say, Brother Larry. Yeah, I was saying what just came to my mind when you said that, you know, when the police got out of the car and they told him, put your hands in the air. Mm, you know, yeah, I'm telling I you. Doing a, I was doing a study and I, I had a sermon on that, actually. 
Uh-huh. You, you know, because that's that's a form of submission when you put your hands in here. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, that's what God wants. It's, it's outstretched along. You give him praise and glory. Yeah. That's right. And submit to his will and his ways. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, that, what, what, what happens when we don't do that? Mm-hmm. A lot of times we face may face death or Man. severe punishment or whatever because we didn't submit. That's right. To the authority of God. Man. That's it. Listen, the scriptures tells us for what? All disobedience is sin. The wages of sin. That's Romans, I think 623. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we be obedient to God. We don't want to walk in sin. Amen. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? No, God forbids it. God forbid. Man. But we want to continue in the faith. Amen. Amen. And what God has instructed us to walk. And how do we do that? How do we sustain that? How do we maintain that? That's through the word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall stand forever. Do you know what? Listen, I said it. I said again, there's a lot of folks that's talking today. Amen. 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 People are prophesying. Amen. They talking. They ain't saying nothing. Because if it don't line up with the word of God, it don't mean nothing. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God said his word shall stand forever. Glory to God and his word. Isaiah 55, glory to God, amen. Our ways, not his ways, neither our thoughts is what our thoughts, but his ways are higher than ours. Glory to God, we give you praise tonight. Glory to God. Doesn't it make doesn't it make you feel good for those of you that have uh, children and had ch- children? Amen. You, amen. And they probably all going and out doing their own thing. Some of us got grandchildren, great grandchildren. I'm not calling y'all out. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, <laughs> it's so good when my children show me appreciation when I do something for them. It's the same way with God. That's Amen. Amen. He wants us to demonstrate and illustrate and exhibit the fact that we appreciate him what he does, what he does for us in our life. Glory to God. I listen, I don't I, listen, I'm encouraging you today. Don't take it for granted. Glory to God. I count every listen, everything God does for me, whether it be great, big, small, tall. Guess what? I give God praise for it. I don't complain. Don't complain so much. You complain. That's it. Oh, it gave me this. I need that. He said, thank you, Lord, for this. When you say this word, everything. Not yeah, everything. Not many, but in everything we need to give. So this is the word. Thanks in it. Because yeah. you. That's right. Amen. Thanks. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Listen, I'm ex- I'm excited, y'all. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't I'm not trying to preach, but listen. When I listen, I, I'm ex- I'm just excited about this word today. Glory to God, Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. It's great. He's greatly to be praised. Listen, I don't want to cut nobody off. Anybody want to have a comment? Want to share? Come on, real quick, before we cut off. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> I think they got it. They got it. <laughs> oh, Y'all got it. Amen. Brother, brother Amen. Ray must brother Ray must not be on, on the phone. They're not home yet. He don't, he don't wanna unmute, right? <laughs> he don't wanna unmute. He was muted. There's a lot of noise in the car. Yeah, I, but I, 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 I think God we done made the word. Most, I, Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I, I've, I've been listening to the word, y'all. You, you, you're doing so good. You got off about the angels, and you start talking, doing what God gets. God led you in a different way, but thank God for the word. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that, uh, 
I was thinking about it as you was talking, you know, you said the angels was messengers. Yes. You know? And uh they are and it was messengers with power. That's right. But uh now the saints are messengers. Mm-hmm. And the saints are messengers with power. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says when you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall have power. But I thank God for the angels too, because uh you know, we're in a spiritual fight. Yes, we are. Yes. That's the reason why the fight the fight in heaven with uh Michael and Lucifer, that was a spiritual fight. Right. And it's gonna be another spiritual fight. So we better start getting ready. Very good lesson. Praise Very God. Very good lesson. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. I enjoyed it. Praise God. Brother, well, we, we were still talking about the angels. We didn't get off of that subject. We talking about how the God had him protecting us. Amen. Well, God, he, he, God. he has them yeah. host the angels camp around about us. Mm-hmm. Chilling well, them bullets that could have hit Ella Shaw. Amen. Amen. Well, the Bible says that he will be with you to the end of time, right? That's right. Always. And with the angels is put. With the angels protecting you, that's telling you that he's still with you that's until right. the end of time. That's right. Absolutely. You know? Mm-hmm. But uh, very good lesson. I enjoyed it. I couldn't get off like I wanted to. <laughs> but uh, the next Bible study, maybe I just want to start reiterating what I'm thinking. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Anybody else want to share, have a comment? We thank God for you. Uh, 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 Sister Robin, I like that background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My daughter had that, but she ain't taught me how to put it back there yet. Uh, we, I, I want to go there one of these times. <laughs> yeah. I thank God for the message. And, you know, you have to be obedient. That's right. Jacob wrestled. Come on. Right. Mm-hmm. It is. So... Mm-hmm. I thank God for sending messengers, the angels, and yeah. Well, like we have to be obedient. Absolutely, obedience is better than sacrifice. That's what the scriptures tell us. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, even even when Jesus was um, when he was on the cross, you know, at any time, that's uh, uh, you know, in Matthew, he said, uh, mm-hmm. "Do you think I can't?" Call on the father and have him send down the loot and the angels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. You know. He could have did it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Angels are there waiting. You know, where right. when God send them, they have to be obedient and do what he tells mm-hmm. them to do. Telling you. Ooh, my Lord. And just thank God that uh, you know, he has when we, we, we pray as a prayer, always that he would encompass. I had to protect him. I mean, that had to those angels. Right. Man. Right. Yeah. That, and that's a good scripture too, brother, uh, Minister Larry. Uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 53. Y'all take a note. You can write that down. All right. What Jesus was talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said, could I send it? Can I send it? He said, think of that if I cannot pray now to my father. Mm-hmm. Right. And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Come on here. <laughs> what? So, so to y'all. Come on. All right. I tell you, awesome, awesome. Anybody else have anything they'd like to share, share, say? Real quick, questions? Come on. All right. Thank God, Sister Wanda. We see you over there hiding. <laughs> you are laughing, right? You're laughing. Wanda! Yes. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sister Wanda Staples, God bless you. Uh, I thank you for I thank you for Bible study each week. You know, yeah. and I know that you put in time to really mm-hmm. study and get the lesson together. For us, and I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Praise God! Thank God for you. Praise God! To God be the glory. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. And, and Amen. you know, God rewards those who do His work. And uh, I say you're doing a good job too. We're talking about again. I'm gonna go back to where you 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 caught me on Bergen. 
You know, he got a scripture there too. He says, hey, listen, don't touch my anointing to do my prophets no harm. Amen. Man. You know? Praise God. So he, he got to make sure his word, his, his, his soldiers are protected. Come on. That's right. Absolutely. Praise God. Yep. Praise God. Anybody else have anything they'd like to say or share? We thank God for y'all. We know the hour's been somewhat, we, we doing pretty good tonight. Amen. <laughs> we thank God. Amen. God bless you. Thank God. Uh, Sister Raquel was all, always on with us. Uh, Sister Sh Shanita. Uh, like, again, we heard from uh, Sister uh, Robin. God bless you. And I, I, see, Spark, a, yeah, you know. I see some other phone numbers on here we don't recognize. We thank God for you. We got Spark, Spark and uh, Mary. I right, call her names. And uh, Brother Ray, and I know he's got his crew with him. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All the way from Danville, Virginia. God bless y'all. Thank God. Amen. Listen, this has been awesome, family and friends. We're going to close out with prayer. Amen. We, we thank God for our Bible study, our weekly. We're going to be right back here Tuesday night. Those of you out there in the Jersey area, join us on Sunday. We'll be live in the sanctuary at Shiloh on 547 South 19th Street. And listen, also, too, if y'all haven't done it already, for those of you that are not on and those of y'all listening, you could actually download our app. Amen. We got an awesome Bible app. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to put it up on the screen real fast. We got an awesome Bible app. Amen. Amen. And it actually, here we go. Amen. For those, I don't know if y'all can see. That's it. I know my backwards on the screen, but that's, that's our app, church app. Amen. And here we have the e-Bible. Uh, multiple churches. Amen. We got uh, Genesis through Revelation, Scripture Search. The Bible talks to you as well. And also in here, too, you can access uh, all of our, our Bible studies, the, the teachings and discussions, amen, right here from inside of the app. If you click uh, uh, the more section inside of the app, that'll actually take you to the directly to the YouTube channel where all of these uh, Bible studies are being recorded. Listen, this is awesome. If you got an iPhone, Android phone, go to the Play Store, go to the App Store, type in Shiloh Temple. And you'll see that whole that, that logo with the, the dove over, over the word of God. So on the blue background, that's us. Download that app and join it, y'all. Amen. Amen. Listen, this has been phenomenal. We're gonna get ready to close out with prayer. Amen. At this time. And we'd like them to uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you for reminding me. Listen, we need to help. Because we want to, we want to, we, we got, I want to try to get 100 subscribers fast, y'all. Amen. So just go to the YouTube channel, click subscribe. Amen. And and, and recommend it to somebody too as well. Because uh, we want to actually uh, personalize our channel. Uh, but in order to do that, we need at least 100 subscribers. All right. Uh, for you on the YouTube part, uh, platform. All right. So listen, this has been awesome, everybody. We're going to get ready to close out. Uh, we're going to actually, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Minister Larry, if you, best, if you will lead us in prayer as we close out our Bible study on tonight. Amen, amen. Uh, just bow your heads with me and uh, we're in agreement. We know where two or more people in agreement, God is there in the midst. Yes. Uh, Father God, we just humbly come from before you today, Father God. First of all, say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, Father God, for your everlasting love, Father God. We thank you for the opportunity to come out and fellowship in a Bible study, Father God, that we might grow in your word, Father God. And we ask, Father God, that even as we depart from this meeting, Father God, you will continue to, Father God, let that word marinate in our mind, Father God, and we cry out in the name of Jesus, Abba, Father, lead us, God, and protect us. Place that hedge of protection around us. Dis dispatch your angels, Father God, to everyone that's under the sound of my voice and their loved ones as well. Father God, bless them on this day, Father God, and let your word be our light, that we may be a shining light in the dark places, Father God. In Jesus' name, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. Amen. Amen. Listen, this has been awesome, family, friends, those of you who've been watching us online, listen. Amen. Until next time, y'all have a blessed evening for the remainder thereof. Enjoy the latter part of your week. 
Amen. And until next time, we'll see you real soon. We love you with the love of God. God bless Ella you. Show, Ella Show, Ella Show. Yes, I Before will. you I dial will. out, please, y'all, keep our children in prayer as they go back to school. All right? Absolutely. Pray for the children and teach them that they'll be safe and God will shield them and protect them. And this is crazy disease that's going around. Amen. 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 Listen, Amen. next time, everyone, stay in the blessing. Amen. Amen. Good night. Bless you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.